So our third race from Cork and our third race of the day is the leg two of the Moore's Million Series. Only 16 on a big card. So the four miles and two furlongs. Cherry Kino for John Morgan is number one. Dictate Ross for Martin Leaving is number two. Ector Ham Slave for Damien Ladd is three. Jamar Cottage for Thomas Rogers is four. Jump into the Fire for Neil Ram Rensburg is five. National Nightmare for Joshua Sutherland is six. Spars Corner for James Shea is seven. Blanche Niche for Alex Jerry is eight. Inquistress Wink for Hems is nine. The Banzi for Craig Beckwith is ten. And External Delight for Jim Murray makes up eleven. With a four miles and two furlongs here at Cork. As they get to the first. All over it well. Chirikino and National Nightmare fight for the lead. 27 fences to take as they get to the second. Oh, and Chirikino made a mistake, went straight through the top of that. Now National Nightmare to take it up on his own. All the horses behind. Oh, and a little bit of a dive at it there, actually, by the leader, National Nightmare. Could well be a nightmare in the National. She has been named for that purpose. They come past the winning post, the first of a little four, three times. And it's National Nightmare from Cherry Kino in second. The first of the Greys, external direct for Jim Murray. We've got Dictate Ross for Martin Lee on the second gray on the outside of a Spars corner and Alex Cherry's Blanche Niche. And another Grey, which is Dave Robertson's Ectiam Slave. Towards the fence is La Banzi. Gets the fourth. A few mistakes there. Cherry Kino's uh, meant to jump himself ahead of National Nightmare. And just towards the rear, we've got Ectiam Slave, Inquistress Wink, and La Banzi bringing up the rear. Plenty of racing to go. And it is Cherry Kino from National Nightmare. Three back to External Dip White and Dictate Ross. Spars corner, Jamia Cottage. Once the fences jump into fire. And over the fifth, Cherry Kino didn't take it particularly well. Stumbly over these fences. And our two leaders of National Nightmare and Cherry Kino come down to the next. They take it well. These are the remainders. With a slow jump by Dictate Ross. It's a National Nightmare and Cherry Kino. Flip flopping to the lead to go over the big ditch. Runs over it. Jump into fire towards the rear against the fence and the blue silk yellow cap from Neil Renz Grinsberg was a little bit slow. So through the first mile and a quarter. And it's Cherry Kino and National Nightmare still leading us. External delight and dictate loss. Sparse corner, Ectian slave. Inquistress wink as it gets this plain one and the leaders are over it. They make it a bit of a meal of it. Cherry Kino is a little bit better over that one. A national nightmare. Not sure how well they would fare at the uh, fences at Aintree. With its Cherry Kino from National Nightmare. Move down to the next. Runs over that. So a third of the fence is done. We've got 18 to take. Just under three miles to travel as we go to that plain one. So jump to the rear by jumping jump Jamia Cottage, sorry. Jenny or Jamia Cottage. It's another plain one. So Jerry Kino didn't take it that well. A little bit of a mistake. So now National Nightmare to have a length advantage now as we come past the wind post again here at Cork. Swing all off right handed again. Two greys, external delight and dictate loss, then a third grey atrium slave. And inside Spar's corner, next chair is Blanche Niche on the other side of those. Craig, it's Craig, no, that's uh, Craig Allen's inquistress wink. And links back to the three of La Banzi, Jameer Cottage, and jump into the fire. As we go out for another circuit. 12th well. We're still standing here. Looking to qualify for the Millions Series Final. Week 13. He's the first three that qualify. It's a longer 
version, we have two versions, we have the sort of three and a half mile version, and we have the four mile plus version, and over the 13th, this time it was National Nightmare, it was a little bit sticky over it, and now Cherry Kino to take the lead, and down to the next, it's Cherry Kino that's going to lead this over it. A little bit strung out now. The pace hasn't been particularly uh, fast. Cherry Kino's moved on a little bit now. The National Nightmare in second. We get to the big ditch. We take that well. Oh, and we've lost one. Jump into the fire is gone. Lucky for me on Van Rensburg. Slipped his jockey. Awesome rider. Okay. It's still Cherry Kino that leads us. He's going to swing wide right hander in a minute. National Nightmare in second, Stone of Delight is third, Dictate Ross is four, Ectrium Slave is five, Spars Corner is six, Inquisitor's Wink is seven. Get to the sixteenth, oof, there's a couple that made a few poor jumps there, La Banzi towards the rear, and Spars Corner. Starting to get a little bit tired, these horses now. We've still got a further ten flight, ten fences to take. It's Cherry Kino that leads us from National Nightmare and External Delight. Just got a little bit closer to these leading two. Dictate Ross. Over the 17th, the leaders are over it well. Is everybody else? Well, a bit strung out now. Junior Cottage we're losing sight of. Benz has got to do a lot from the rear there to get to this plane on the 18th. And the leaders are all getting a little bit bunched up now. Cherry Kino's joined by National Nightmare and External Delight. And a couple back to Dictate Ross. Go over the 19th, they will take it well. One that peck wide on land in there was Exer and Slave and just drops back a little bit. There's still National Nightmare with External Did Light. Cherry Kino on the inside. Dictate Ross takes a little bit of a hold. We're going out for the final circuit and a mile and a quarter to run. It's National Nightmare just by half from Cherry Kino and External Did Light. And they're three away from Dictate Ross. Ectram Slave and Quistress Wink. Spars Corner. Length back to Blanche Niche. And the Banzi and Jenny and Cottage. We can't see. They come to the next, it's Cherry Kino, National Nightmare, External Delight. They're going to take it together. Oh, no, a poor jump there by Spar's Corner. So lucky to have his jockey on board. With just a mile to go and seven fences to take. It's Cherry Kino, just noses in front again from National Nightmare, External Delight. Dictate Ross, Actrum Slaven, Christus Wink. Spars Corner, La Banzi and Blanche Niche, not asked for anything yet. And Jamea Cottage just towards the rear. We go over the 21st. Moving's a little bit slow. Cherry Kino on the inside. National Nightmare, External Delight. Dictate Ross joins the leading pack. Coming out, chasing down there is Ectrum Slave to join those as well. As well as Inquisitor's Wink, La Banzi and Spars Corner all making a good run now. And Blanche Niege as well. As they go over that one, it's a big, there's five of them in the front. And it's National Nightmare, External Delight, Cherry Kino, Dictate Ross. Ectrum Slave's got nowhere to go and got himself boxed in. But moving well up on the outside is La Banzi. And they all go over that. So with just four to jump, it's Cherry Kino still leads from External Delight, National Nightmare. Nightmare Trim Slave. La Banze is still there. National Nightmare. So the one that's now pushing in front as we come down to the final half mile is Ectrum Slave now from Cherry Kino giving way to La Banze. The Grey External Delight is still there. National Nightmare starting to go backwards. Spars Corner still running on. But it's Ectrum Slave that takes them over the 24th. But a poor jump allows Cherry Kino to take it back up. So it's Cherry Kino. Ectrum Slave on the inside. La Banze is doing well on the outside. External Delight starting to give way. I don't think anything's going to catch these four. And it's Cherry Kino, Ectrum Slave, Labanzi. Here comes External Delight again. Two and a half furlongs to go and three to jump. It's Cherry Kino, Ectrum Slave, Labanzi, External Delight. You can forget the rest. The leader's all over the 25th. Two to go. It's Cherry Kino, Ectrum Slave, External Delight, and Labanzi. These three are all neck and neck. And it's Cherry Kino, and it's External Delight rises first. Oh, a poor jump by Ectrum Slave and Labanzi. There is allowed External Delight inside the final furlong. It's External Delight from Cherry Kino. No, Ectrum Slave's got nothing left. Labanzi is over the last. Big jump by External Delight. Ectrum Slave, Cherry King and Labanzi were a little bit slow over it. Inside the final half of Furlong. Can External Delight just hang on here? Ectrum Slave's trying to run him down and Cherry Kino, but it's going to be another win for Jim Murray. He's had a fantastic couple of days. External take, Delight takes it for Ectrum Slave. Cherry King in third. Labanzi run on well for fourth. They all had a chance coming into those last couple of fences. 
the only one that jumped them well was the Jim Murray horse of external delight. Gets to qualify. As does external slave and cherry keynote. Only a second and third. Vanzi was fourth. Fifth was Joshua Sutherland's National Nightmare. So external delight for Jim Murray takes it from Ectiam Slave for David Robson. Cherry Keener for John Morgan was third. Banzi for Craig Beckwith was fourth. And National Nightmare for Joshua Sutherland was fifth. <laughs>